Hello, everyone. It is very nice to be here on this beautiful event. Uh, I'd like to start with uh, giving a few words of gratitude to all the people who took part in organizing this beautiful event. Today at like 9, p 9 a.m. in the morning, there were like dozens of people running around trying to make everything working smoothly, like sound engineers and uh, volunteers and, uh, and all the people. They did amazing work to, to make all the, all the things working properly. So thank you. Thank you for the organizing of this event. Uh, my name is Andrei. A um, couple of words about myself. I've been a manager over 10 years. Basically, I've managed everything that can be managed. I get an MBA degree, and uh, all my career I've been working in social discovery group. Uh, this is a quite big uh, tech holding. Um, we see our mission as fighting loneliness problems. Um, the isolation, the disconnection with the help of um, technology like digital reality and some forms of engagement. Uh, we build multiple products and we try to uh, unite them in some form of communication platform. And we also try to explore new uh, ways of creating some digital reality and we, where we could like, explore different artificial forms and discuss, so people could uh, uh, discover more about themselves. We're quite big. We have more than 1,200 employees who tries to uh, manage more than 60 products. And what I wanted to say is that relationship is our business. And um, this business requires a lot of work and a lot of research. And I will try to share some uh, examples, some insights of this researches that we, that we did recently. But uh, first, let's um, meet each other. You know something about me. I know nothing about you. Please, who is older than 20? Raise your hand. Okay, who is uh, single? Less hands. You could meet each other on the after party. Who is in a relationship? Okay, who is in a committed relationship, like marriage or... Okay. Who has kids? More people than who is married. Okay. And uh, uh, judging from what I saw, it looks quite similar to the statistics that we have. Uh, like from the recent research, we found out that approximately half of people is single and approximately half of people in a relationship. But 50 years ago, the situation was quite different. It was like very different. And uh, if we ask this question about 200 years ago, people would not even understand it. The world has changed. Um, this uh, changes in the relationship uh, they are brought because of the world has changed. First of all, we uh, it, it has become more global. Uh, we became much closer to people who are far, far away. For example, this presentation was developed by a designer who lives in Argentina. We've been working together for like several years and I've never met her in, in, in my life and probably never will. And this is what, um, what is the reality now. Who works uh, with people mm, who they never met in real life? Okay, there's a lot of them. At the same time, we became much further from those who live near us. For example, I don't know names of my neighbors in the, in the, in the building where I live. And this is just one example. And um, so this is the paradox of global market. So we became much closer for people uh, who are far, far away. And at the same time, we became further away from those who near us. And of course, we live in the era of social networks, when all the shiny Instagrams that give us huge social pressure, because it's very hard to see all these shiny uh, pictures of highly successful people who never get sick or dies. And uh, this brings us to form of fear of missing out. And of course, there are a lot of shaming in, in social networks and catfishing all the social networks' problems. And of course, we have a lot of services now. Uh, basically, you can get anything delivered to you in a matter of minutes or like hours, uh, even if you live in a village far, far away in the woods. And uh, you can outsource probably every task that you don't want to do. So this goes to a place where we have never been more independent than today. So we can choose whatever we want in life. We can live wherever we want. We can work wherever we want. We can own from anywhere on our own schedule. We can have anything delivered right to our door. And we can outsource or freelance uh, uh, any task that we prefer to avoid. But that brings to changes in relationships because dating becomes outdated itself because people's life context has changed. As a matter of fact, it changes that uh, the sort of relationship uh, because... Um, 
the needs uh, that stand behind the relationship has changed. If we speak about like 50, 100 years ago, uh, the, the relationship was based on codependence. Like uh, someone needs something from one another and like they, they started to, to live together and like together it was a little bit less suffering than, than, uh, than before. But now everything has changed. These changes, unfortunately, they give a huge opportunities for every one of us, but at the same time, these changes lead to some uh, cost. Uh, for example, we have much more connection with uh, less level of deepness or depth. Uh, this leads to decreased satisfaction in relationships because uh, if uh, quite some time ago you had not many connections, but each and every one of them gave you something extra, some, some deepness, some stability. Uh, this time is different when you have like 500 uh, people in your, in your network, but you have not met like half of them in, in, in real life. That brings to, to the fact that people become incre incredibly isolated and uh, that leads to, to the problem of loneliness. At the beginning, uh, we spoke about like 61% of people suffer from loneliness issues right now and it really becomes a widespread issue. And uh, we in our company try to, uh, try to decrease this problem. How? Well, um, everything starts with the research. We spend a hell of a lot of efforts on trying to create some fancy mark analysis. We analyze interest trends, we analyze competitors, we analyze new launches, new startups, new everything. Basically, everything that happens in the uh, relationship uh, sphere, we want to know first about it, whether or not it's some kind of trend, like decrease interest in sex, or it's a new f fancy product that we want uh, maybe to buy or invest in or whatever. This gives us a lot of information because like we live in information era and uh, we, we have to make sure that we, uh, we have enough, uh, enough data to proceed the next decisions. Uh, the next decision is segmentation of the audience. When we have a lot of information about the audience, we try to uh, create product for specific segment. Uh, we have a lot of niche products. Uh, one of the products that I wanted to talk about is Date My Age, is a product for senior uh, audience. It's a dating for, uh, for elder people. And the next presenter, Alex, was, um, invented this project once. Uh, he said, let's, let's create dating for people who is above 40. And there was a lot of skepticism in the company. It was like, what? Why? No, you have to target the young audience or whatever. And so like, no, let's try. And it ended up in one of the most revenue um, uh, profitable products right now in our portfolio. Another product what I wanted to talk about today is uh, Kiseki. This is, um, if Date My Age was a product that we segmented based on customer's age, Kiseki is a product that we segmented based on user's um, uh, location. So this is a product for Japanese market, and uh, it is developing very uh, extensively now. Uh, but besides these pro niche products, we also have general products. One of, one of them is dating.com, and when you have a general products, uh, you, uh, you face the problem that there are a lot of people, and you have to somehow make them match together. And um, uh, recently, we used to do this uh, like on our own developed algorithms, but uh, then we started to use uh, artificial intelligence segmentation uh, because uh, current uh, ML algorithms uh, can, uh, can understand which customers are similar to each other and make them connect together much faster than any human developed algorithms. So yeah, we try to optimize matchmaking through uh, some data-driven insights. If, when we speak about personalization of a, of a product, we cannot um, uh, leave the topic of customer support. One of the things that we try to create is artificial intelligent concierge. Uh, yeah, we wanted to make sure that everyone gets uh, the, the answer for their like, uh, issues or questions as fast as we can. And uh, artificial intelligence uh, instruments were uh, very appropriate to, to, to resolve this issue. After we make sure that people uh, have the product that we want and they uh, interacted with customers that they want and they like, uh, we want to make sure that uh, they have some tools uh, to facilitate their uh, relationships. We use smart icebreakers. Uh, for example, this is a screenshot from one of our products where uh, we have uh, uh, some tips and tools for the customers to, to make the conversation a little bit smoother. Uh, so yes, it analyzes the chat history and tries to create personalized um, uh, conversation uh, uh, tips and, uh, and markups. Yes, and um, 
uh, as well, we use simultaneous translation. So like the era of translation uh, applications, I believe that it has come to an end. Uh, we already used, uh, we used translation that is uh, online and it's, it is real time, AI based, and when the customer texts or even says something on, on audio or video call, like it automatically translates uh, to every language uh, that is possible. Yeah, it, it enables, uh, how do I write this, seamless uh, cross-cultural communication. After people uh, connected to each other, uh, we want to make sure that they have digital intimacy on the website. It is very hard to reach intimacy level uh, when, uh, when people meet each other from far, far away, but we try to resolve this through several instruments. One of them is digital virtual avatars. Uh, one of our prog product magnet is try to enhance self-expression and creativity using, um, using a very interesting tool. It lets you hide your appearance uh, after your real true identity. And um, that, is, uh, that is very useful in, 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 in the era of, of shaming in, in social networks because it offers an anonymity while uh, fostering authentic uh, connection. And other tools to create digital intimacy on our websites is an um, instrument based on virtual and augmented reality. It creates immersive shared experience with a new level of, of intimacy. And uh, these technologies, they, uh, they develop very fast. You could integrate different haptic toys and you could uh, integrate different, uh, different uh, virtual um, uh, spaces and virtual rooms uh, to create a uh, much more customizable experience for the customers. And we see a very huge increase in, uh, in, uh, in relationship deepness on our products uh, of the customers who use this technology. Uh, another thing that I wanted to discuss today is uh, virtual AI companions. Uh, one of our investment products, uh, Fleur, uh, created a completely artificial companion, Anna. Uh, so Anna is not a real person. Anna is AI, who looks like a, another customer of the website. And we found out really weird situation that conversations with Anna are much longer than conversations with real human beings. So this can lead um, to a hell of a lot of experiments on the websites, um, creating and experimenting different AI companions as long as uh, regular customers. So yes, um, summing up what I told you today, uh, we see that uh, there are a huge problem of loneliness right now and we try to develop it with several steps. First of all, we try to analyze market with uh, industry trends, competitor analysis, and new launches. We try to personalize our experience with creating products for specific niches and on general products to use AI segmentation or AI concierge to automize uh, customer support. When the customers met each other on the website, we have to make sure that they have uh, different tools like icebreakers to connect much easier and also simultaneous translation to connect easier even, they are, even if they are from different cultures. And we have to provide different tools for making digital intimacy on the, on the website, like virtual avatars, VR, AR, or AI uh, companions. That's uh, pretty much everything that I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for, uh, for your attention. Uh, here are some QR codes. Uh, if someone has a question, he can connect uh, with me on LinkedIn. And another QR code is for our uh, community. We try to create a community of uh, highly talented and uh, initiative people, uh, and we, have to, we want to make sure that they have a place for mentoring or networking or finding some career opportunities. So please feel free to join our community, and we have a stand, I believe, uh, downstairs where uh, you, can, uh, you can even get some prizes for, uh, for, uh, for joining uh, our group. Did I say it right? Okay. Uh, I believe that's it for me for today. Uh, thank you for your attention.